Hello and welcome to a new video of your favorite pen store. My name is Joost Bobom and today we do a video about the 10 most asked questions in our store in Lara. As always, if this video helps you, leave us a like and if you're interested in buying beautiful writing instruments, visit our store in Lara or order them online in our web store at appelbaum.com. Let's have a look at the first question. Can I have my pen repaired here? That's a question that we have almost on a daily basis. And yes, we arrange repairs of all the brands we sell and even sometimes of the brands we don't carry. It depends on the defect if we do the repair ourselves or that we send it to the manufacturer for a repair. If there is an issue with a nip, we have our in-house nip specialist who can almost solve any issue. A crab barrel or a banded clip have to be replaced by the factory. In that case, we send the pen back for a repair. In this case, it can take a few weeks. Can this pen be engraved? Almost all the pens in our store can be engraved. An engraving can be a nice special text for a special person you cherish or to celebrate a milestone in your life. We do the personalization of the writing instruments at our engraving center in the east of the Netherlands. So we have to need a few days to ship the pen back and forth. Please be aware that engraved items cannot be returned to us unless there is a factory defect, of course. The difference between a gold and a steel nib? That's a question that we receive a lot from especially beginning writers. The difference between gold and steel is mostly the feedback of the nib gives. Steel is a harder material and therefore very stiff, while gold is a softer material and bounces a little more uh, on the paper and is therefore a little bit smoother. The part that actually touches the paper is for both nibs the same. Almost all fountain pen tips are tipped with iridium balls. At the end of each time because they were better than steel or gold. I always advise starting writers to go for a steel nib because it takes some time before you're going to appreciate and feel the differences uh, of gold nibs. How long does this ink cartridge last? This is a difficult question uh, to answer because it is really depending on many factors. The first and most important one is the nib size you are using. The broader the nib, the more ink you use, obviously. Also, the capacity of the ink cartridge and the paper used have a suspicious effect on the length you can write with the cartridge. Can you buy my pen? No. We don't do this. At Applebaum we only sell brand new pens and to keep the standard high we don't buy pens from individuals and only straight from the factory or through a distributor in the case of some brands. We don't want that our clients get confused if they see new and used pens in the store and on the website. So to avoid this we don't buy from individuals. However, if you have a certain collection that you like to sell, we do have contacts with third parties that can help you sell your collection. So don't hesitate to contact us if you have a beautiful collection which you like to sell. Are all the pens on the website also in the store? Well, on the website we have over 5000 products. And unfortunately we don't have the space here in the store to showcase them all. Luckily we have short lines with the brands and can have a particular product in our store within a few days. So if we don't have a particular item in stock, we can always order it for you and deliver it for to you within a few days. This is actually a question that we get a lot uh, through our web store in our email. Um, it's quite simple um, and I understand the, the confusion because nowadays uh, there are a lot of counterfeited Montblanc pens. I think Montblanc is one of the most counterfeited pen in the world um, and normally 
if a deal is too good to be true it isn't true but in this case it is true uh, we're an authorized Montbello dealer for uh, many years since 2004 and um, we're really proud of it we're one of the uh, biggest Montbello dealers of Europe actually and the reason our prices are lower compared to the prices on the website of Montbello can be a fat issue uh, since we are based in the Netherlands, we only have to charge countries that are a member of the European Union the 21% sales fat which is used in the Netherlands for products like writing instruments. The good part is that we don't have to charge these 21% sales fat to clients from outside the European Union. So if you are from the US or Australia, Canada, Hong Kong, Switzerland or even Norway, you can kind of have a discount of 21%, but please be aware that you might get hit with import duties in your own country. For a fact, I know that in the US and Australia, the customs are quite loose and uh, yeah, you don't have to pay any import duties for products below a value of 1000 euros. But to be 100% sure, you can always check with your local authorities or contact us for more information about this. So in this case, our competitive prices are not too good to be true. They're really good and they're true and you should buy your mobile pens from us. Why is a brand X more expensive than brand Y? Well, this question we get a lot and it's not, there's not one answer on it. Uh, besides the fact of the materials uh, used like the gold nibs or silver nibs, uh, the craftsmanship uh, and many other factors, there's also a marketing part and the history of a brand is also very important because of course you prefer to buy from a brand that exists for a long time instead of a company that just started. Uh, and in some cases it's also about a status symbol, like Mont Blanc pens are particularly a status symbol. So there's not really uh, uh, one, one point that I can point out, like okay, this is it, but there are a lot of aspects. It's more or less the same like with a sandwich. If you do butter on your sandwich or anything else, and you drop it, it always uh, falls on the wrong side. It's physics, that's the, actually the short answer to this question. It is actually designed uh, to drop like this on the floor. And I hear you thinking, why would the company design a pen that drops with a nip on the floor? Well, that's not how they design the pen, of course. They design the pen to write, and to write the nip of the pen needs to touch the paper. To make this happen, the pen makers manufacture the pens to make sure the nib touches the paper with the least effort and without any pressure. But if you drop a pen, the same mechanism will work on your nib, on this pen, and in most cases uh, your nib will bend. So the best tip I can give you today is to not drop your pen and hold it tight with you at all times. We found the pen can be used by a left-handed. Did you know that 75% of our stuff is actually left-handed? The only tip I can give you for left-handed writers is to write with a nib as thin as possible so the line of ink dries really fast. If you use a fine nib, the amount of ink on the paper is much lesser compared to a line made with a broad nib and the lesser ink, the sooner it dries. Furthermore, most left-handed writers are known with this problem and have learned write themselves in a way they keep the hand above the line or under the line I'm, I don't know I'm right-handed but uh, they know a way how to write with it um, stop nips be aware of stop nips um, they can be cut sometimes so that it's really hard for you to write with if you're left-handed well, thank you for watching. This was our video about our top 10 most asked questions in the store. If you have other questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed yet, 
this is the moment to do it. Thank you.